Mm. Mick, when you hold the board, I want you to hold it out here, not here. <laughs> Rob, are you all right? He's concentrating. <laughs> Spending 60 seconds with Sturlo is one half of the funniest duo on radio. I'm here at Martin Malloy Central with Mick Malloy. Mick, let's get straight into sure. it. What's been your worst moment on, on radio? Uh, worst moment on radio would be the time we interviewed the bloke who played Greg Brady on the, on the Brady Bunch. And for the entire interview, I, I called him Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Did the same thing when we interviewed the bloke who played Fonzie. It probably happened all their lives. Absolutely. They didn't notice. Who's been the funniest person you, you've ever met or interviewed? Oh, I'd say either Michael Palin from Monty Python yeah. or Mr. Methane. There you know <laughs> all of so glad you bought that one, I huh? bought that up, should I steal her? Your most bizarre caller in? We had a woman who called in and told us about the first time she went fishing and she landed a fish and she realised she didn't know how to use a fishing rod. So she ran backwards up the bank for 200 <laughs> metres until she dragged the fish ashore. Away from the microphone, how, how do you relax? I like to sit in the basement making suits out of human skin. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I've lost the plot there. <laughs> On the same theme, who would you vote for as first president for our, our republic? Uh, Rodney Rood. <laughs> Partner in crime, Tony Martin. Mm. His worst habit? His worst habit, uh, never pull his finger. <laughs> oh, I've been known to steal underwear off women's clotheslines, but hey, that's another story. Is there any one thing that you can't do without? Tracky Dax. <laughs> you've got my name. You've got a bit close. You're mentally undressing me, aren't you, Stella? <laughs> closing my eyes. What was your first ever paying job? Uh, my first paying job, I think, uh, was a male prostitute back in the 70s. Oh, no, sorry, that was another life. Uh, I was stacking shelves at a supermarket in Safeway. Night crew. Who would you most like to wake up next to? The Blakeney twins. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play for 20 hours. Who would you least like to sit next to? John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Mick Malloy, you're down to the last $10, and I'm almost not going to ask this. What would you spend it on? Probably a good balaclava. Thank you, Andy. Give us a cuddle, man. Oh, don't come near me, please. Like fun. Uh, absolute legend. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I, I think the degeneration is sensational and Mick Moore. I actually asked him uh, afterwards because I was one, about the plane. You only said John Denver. Yeah. I, just lost. I was supposed to ask him who would he most like to sit next to as well. And he said Monica Lewinsky. So, Monica uh, Lewinsky? Yeah. <laughs> Knows what he likes, Mick Moore. Well, look.